I was born in Sacramento, California, and I also lived in Arizona. Have you ever been to Arizona? Wow, that place is hot. Painfully hot. People should not live in a place where it hurts to breathe. My definition of too hot is laying there in bed, not doing anything, like no activity whatsoever, just laying there and you are still actively sweating. That is, a, is an environment where you should not live. Impossible. Well, there were all sorts of gross, icky things there besides the heat. I remember primarily cockroaches, giant bugs that were, oh, they'd kind of scurry along the floor. I didn't experience cockroaches um, until I went back to Sierra Leone, but, but the first time ever was when I was about two years old or so. And I, uh, I was very good at catching cockroaches, apparently. I don't quite remember. But my mom said that I would run along in my diaper <laughs> with, a, with um, a fly swatter and flip them upside down onto their backs so that they couldn't move. And then I'd smash them. <laughs> what a violent child I was. I, again, I don't remember this, but according to my mom, I was a great cockroach hunter. I, I do remember though from Arizona being very very young I, I, I barely remember above all things the grass and how uncomfortable the grass was grass is supposed to be green and fluffy and you can lay in it you cannot lay on the grass in Phoenix Arizona uh, no no it's brown and it's prickly and it's uncomfortable when you run in it in your bare feet uh, not cool at all. No, no. As you can tell, I have very fond memories of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I also remember that the that the cement was so hot, I could not walk on it on my bare feet. That is so sad when your cement is as hot as an oven. Mm. But I do remember our, our neighbors across the street. Their names were Peggy and Sue. No. Peggy and Dave. Dang it, I forget. Wow. But anyway, the heat was horrendous. Uh, I remember riding a tricycle around. Uh, I remember the backyard barely. We sort of had a chain link fence. So a bunch of just sort of, you know, little flashes of memory. But uh, I, I, yeah, I remember uh, a few of the cockroaches. And lastly, I remember, and this is what is responsible for my big lip, my bottom lip. I would walk around with a water bottle all the time and it would sort of hang out of my mouth like this. So I have conditioned my body to have a big lip because this water bottle, uh, yeah, drooped out of my mouth constantly. <laughs> I stayed very well hydrated, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, it was a little comfort thing. So to this day, I still walk around sometimes with a bottle hanging out of my mouth. Not only now, it's a bottle of hard liquor. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. That's uh, memories from Arizona.